Back live, folks, with Space Coast Medicine TV. I'm here with uh, Dr. Ashok Shah, who is the uh, president of the organization of BIMDA. Uh, about four years ago, doctor, yes, and you're still involved now. Uh, yes, how are you involved now with the organization? How are you helping? Um, uh, as, as, as you said, my name is uh, uh, Dr. Shah, and I'm involved with the sponsorship activities. And any organization needs money to run it. The finances is most important. And I've been a sponsorship chair for the last three years. And we have been financially growing, financially strong. What we do, we collect, we collect money from the sponsor organizations. Uh, most of the time it's pharmaceutical companies, but some, because of the uh, prevailing climate, the pharma companies are dwindling. So we have some other resources which we have uh, got into use this year. But uh, I think this year has been a phenomenal year. Uh, we, we, have been, uh, we have been able to match the highest collection over the last five, seven years or so. And if your next question is that, what do we do with the funds? Oh, we do to promote the social interaction with the Indian physician, as you see right now today, as well as the, some of the money goes to the, to the charities, United Way, BSO are the, one of the charities which we are sponsoring this year. So I think uh, it's, uh, the, the, as a sponsorship chair, it's an enormous responsibility and a privilege to, to, to be taking care of that in a nice way. Thank you. Well, Doctor, obviously, uh, with your involvement as president of the organization, you were involved on an organizational level, and now you're raising funds for the organization. Right. Can you tell us a little bit more about some of the ways in which uh, BIMDA is involved in education in the community and how you uh, maybe help local students? Uh, the, the education is that uh, we pre-provided -pro, pre six hours of CME uh, in this expo and probably four hours of C CME in November. In November, there will be a, a smaller expo. Uh, in November where, where we will provide about four hours of continuing medical education and it's free to the free to any any people and any physicians who want to attend uh, this morning we had an attendance about uh, I would say about 100 physicians who attended that we had like six uh, six hours of CME two hours of mandatory CME we have mandatory CMEs in order to keep our license we provide that free the lunch and breakfast of course is free so all members and non-members can participate in those CME activities during the day. We do support the FIT. FIT, organize, FIT has some biomedical programs. We we are in the we are in the like a beginning stage of, of forming a forming a, a relationship with the FIT. FIT had a, had a booth this this morning. So we we try we will try to expand out in that that uh, context too. And how do you see the organization uh, growing in the future, Doctor? And, and as FIT obviously grows in the area, how do you see BIMDA? What are some of the goals for the future and some of the uh, initiatives that you'll be taking? on uh, the initiative of course I mean as I told you I'll be very honest with you the the financing is most important we'll try to collect more sponsorship for for the good use uh, our, this organization has been in existence for about uh, I would say more than 10 years but for the last five years it has taken a stride to 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 a higher level with the leadership of incoming presidents and uh, and of course the glad Korean is kind of our fixture he continues to provide us the logistic leadership and in the future we will continue to do the CME we will continue to provide the platform for social interaction for the physicians the hospitals and stuff like that and we can we I, uh, the, in the future what I see I mean it has not been in concrete or anything but what I see is that we, we, we can branch out in the biomedical we can form a partnership with the UCF School of Medicine and things like that very good doctor thank you for your good work and keep up the good work thank you sir Back live uh, with Space Coast Medicine TV here at the BIMDA Annual Gala, and we're here with uh, a very good friend of ours of Space Coast Medicine, Dr. Nicola Alley from uh, the Cancer Care of Brevard. And we have a new addition to the Alley family, looks like, Doctor. We sure do, yes. And she's a very uh, loud addition. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. You know, multi generational uh, effects here at the BIMDA Annual Gala. And I know, uh, Dr. Alley, you're very involved in uh, Cancer Care of Brevard. Can you tell us a little bit about the organization now and uh, any new happenings? Yes. Uh, Cancer Care Centers of Brevard is the largest and most comprehensive um, cancer program in Brevard County. We have medical oncology and radiation oncology working together. Um, we've uh, been doing that for about a year now and uh, Cancer Care Centers has been in town for about 20 years. I think um, 
one of our um, more interesting ventures is that recent partnership, trying to bring more comprehensive, um, all-in-one care to our patients under one roof. And it's been very, uh, I think, very wonderful for our patients. Well, thank you very much. And of course, Dr. Silas Charles was recently featured on the front cover of Space Coast Medicine for his incredible work in Haiti and the incredible uh, uh, benefit that you guys have put together. Well, thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Ali, and many congratulations. And thank I'm, you, Gilles, and for all the wonderful work that your magazine does. Thank you. I'm sure that's a member of the a future member of the medical community you got in your hands there. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much.